please don't care about what people say. People will try to hurt you. People will, will say the most hurtful things. Please don't take them personally. I used to get a lot of hate online as, as an artist, a, you know, a musician. And it used to make me feel really bad. I would get a bit, you know, confrontational and be like, oh, what are you, what are you talking about? Now that I am 44 years old, I can so see that it comes from a, from a place of pain. That person is in pain. And that little dig or that little comment they made about me, not even online, even, you know, friends, when they, you know, they make a little dig or a little sarcastic comment, when you know it's just, it's a little bit hurtful, I would never say that. It comes from a place of pain. No one who would feel happy about themselves would say something bad to make you feel bad, even if they think about it, even, I don't know, if, if someone thinks something about me physically or, you know, about my appearance, if someone is happy within themselves, they would never even think, oh, I don't like that person's shoes or I'm going to say something and be like, oh, they wouldn't. It comes from a place of pain. And it's so obvious now that I I'm grown and I've realized that it's so obvious. They make that little hateful comment because that would make them feel good about themselves for two seconds. And they can't have that. That's fine. Don't, honestly, the best thing, the best self-care advice I can give to you is never, ever care about what other people say. Um, you would ask, um, what about family? They, they just criticize. Does that mean that, that it comes from a place of pain? Maybe. Or maybe just, you know, inherited from their own families. It comes down, it just trickles down to, to the family. I know from my parents, from my upbringing, it was just antagonizing me all the time. I was never, ever right. Whatever happened in my life at school, it was always my fault somehow. And, and then I stopped saying what bothered me or, or something happened at school and it was always, oh, but did you do something? Or what did you do? Or oh, maybe you shouldn't. And now I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, counsel myself right now. I just see it, I forgive. Because I know that comes from a place of not knowing how to parent. Or probably from a place of pain or not... I don't know. Some people shouldn't be, become parents. And it's, <laughs> it's sort of, I wouldn't say sad to admit that my parents should never have become parents. I'm sorry. But I hope I turned out okay. I hope I'm making a, again, you have to see it. You have to see the grander scheme of things. I am hoping I'm making a difference to the world. I can see, I can see, a, it's, it's such a cliche. I'm a nice person. Oh my God. I can see how I behave with people at work when they start gossiping, when they start talking shit about other people. I know immediately to stop them or just to say, don't, don't say that. Don't be mean. You don't know them. And I hope I'm making difference in some ways, or I, you know, don't think what other people
people think about you. I honestly, when they comment, when they say something, never ever ever think what other people say about you. Do whatever you want. If you don't harm other people, do whatever you want. This is your only chance. Grab it. And on that note, I'm gonna grab this day as well. By the horns. And I know I'll have an amazing day. And I hope you have an amazing day too. Thank you.